actually going through workers comp has exacerbated my injury i ended up getting worse than i was in the first place my social support network made me feel much less isolated but i think by far the biggest thing is knowing that you're not on your own if i could wave a magic wand it would be to treat people as humans and every human just wants to be heard understood and valued. Doctors, lawyers, everyone wants a piece, but no one's actually talking to the injured worker. No one's actually giving them exactly what they need. There's a problem with the system when the injured worker is doing everything they can to get better and they're not feeling supported. Where you feel like insurance companies want you to fail the system and leave and the more pressure they put on you, they think the easier that'll be for them. That's how I feel about it. At the end of the day, before you're an injured worker, you're a human being. And that's what Carolyn and the whole team, they all treat you as such. And for them, it's uh, they just want to see you better. And you can sense that. I, for one, will be eternally grateful to MSSN. It has made an absolutely huge change in my life. And I want to get well enough to be able to give back in a way where I can help other injured workers down the track. The injury itself breaks down your ability to feel safe in a social environment. Then you go into workers' comp, you become isolated. So social function is destroyed. Oh. So unless you start to rebuild that social function, how do you expect people to even get back to work? The scheme and the treatment of people with injuries is really geared to physical injuries. So people get injured on the way through by their employer. And then there's this pressure and this um, focus from insurers to meet their KPIs, which is which is fine. The impact, though, on individuals is so detrimental because the minute you sprinkle a little bit more of stress on someone who is already stressed, it slows everything down.